that is a look at the new ball that you will only see here inside the Walter Pyramid this year. It's from Nike. You'll probably see it in a national championship venue in years to come. But Nike has given that specifically to Long Beach State to test out this year. It is NCAA approved and it is 2023 approved as we are underway. Cameron Bacon with the first swing in the 2023 season for Long Beach State. There's Lisiak tipping it off the block. Outside it goes Madison Skinner with the first kill for Texas and she will probably be the leader in kills for the Longhorns and maybe one of the leader in kills across the country this year. You may notice that the uniforms Texas is wearing and the numbers that you are used to them wearing will not be consistent as they have yet to have their beautiful burnt orange uniforms come in for this year. So they are wearing last year's uniforms, at least for the away uniforms. Tomorrow they'll be wearing their white uniforms and those are updated numbers as Tia Shavira comes in to serve for Long Beach State. Bump set out of system. Natalie Glenn has to put it off the block. Scramble play, and I think Texas is going to be called for going under the net. A full palm, I believe, was put under the net and over that midline. And that was the setter, Ella Swindle. So violation on Texas and Long Beach State takes their first lead of 2023. It is tied up immediately on the service error. And Texas will put back Bella Bergmark to the service line. Bergmark is 6'2 senior. She's a transfer from Cal, but she had a season last year with the national champions hitting 357, a really solid middle blocker. Bumped over, Skinner, over on the overpass. And another kill for the preseason player of the year in the Big 12. Texas was first in conference in kills per set last year, averaging almost 14 and a half, as that's a good block by Long Beach State. Free ball opportunity. Meyer, right side, it's Glenn, it's dug up. In the middle, that is tipped down and in. Good placement by Mariana Singletary. 6'4", redshirt freshman, she has had to be put into the starting lineup today because of a day-to-day -day injury that was suffered by Asia O'Neill. Kind of twisted her ankle in preparation for this opening weekend. She did travel. She is here in Long Beach, so she may play tomorrow against Loyola Marymount, just not in today's matchup. Three-point lead now for Texas. It is now five, serving two. Five to two. As Bergmark serves again, that is out. If you can hear through your screen and how loud it is here inside the Walter Pyramid, Texas always travels well. Of course, they are a top program in the country. And Long Beach State and the student section filled up as Lazia gets dug up. It's another free ball opportunity, though, for Long Beach State. Laziak again. She's blocked and rooted. Singletary and Phillips. Take another look at that double block put up by the Longhorns, mostly and pretty much all on Molly Phillips, 6'5", senior. As Kayle Akana has come in to serve for the Longhorns. That abbreviated backslide by Katie Kennedy is out long. However, we may get our first challenge of the season. 
from head coach Tyler Hildebrand. So Hildebrand is challenging that there was a touch off the block of Texas. Maybe we'll have a look of that as well. That is so hard, of course, to see whether there was a touch off the block or not. The ball can spin so fast and go so hard across the net, even though it slows up when it reaches the floor, right at the net is where you'll see the highest velocity. You're probably looking for a bend of the fingers here, and it looks like the middle blocker, if anything, Mariana Singletary touched it. This will be tough. A great look at our net cam for this year here on ESPN+. Plus. That is tough to tell. If we can maybe go frame by frame here. Yeah, it's just a tough one, especially when Singletary had her hands up a little bit shorter than her post block, the blocker that's setting up near the antenna. We'll see if the down referee, Burton Fuller, has a good look at it. There's LB, got the Long Beach State mascot out here as well. One more look at it. Yeah, if anything, it is the middle blocker, Singletary, that touched it. That is tough. Katie Kennedy was adamant that there was a touch off the block. Signaled right away to her head coach that there was a touch, there was no touch called by anybody. Neither the lines judges, Chris Hahn or Rachel Jensen called touch, neither official, as we have a top official in Sergio Gonzalez, and then the down referee, Burton Fuller, about to make the call right now. First challenge of the year for Tyler Hildebrand is unsuccessful, stays with Texas, and it is still seven to three Longhorns. He did take a good look at it. it. Was a pretty extended review, as it was close, but had not enough to change the call. So Kionile Akana from Haula, Hawaii, the 5'9 junior libero, another serve. Should say she's in the defensive specialist role right now. Free ball opportunity again for Long Beach State. Tip is out. That can be the difference between top teams in the country and teams that are looking to just compete in their conference as Long Beach State takes the time up. They're down five. And it is filled to the brim here inside the Walter Pyramid. So excited to have you at home watching here on ESPN Plus. I'm Matt Brown, the defending national champion, Texas Longhorns, controlling the first set so far, up five, but Akuna's serve is long. So Long Beach State trying to take advantage of some miscues from Texas. They only have one kill as a team so far as Lysiak goes back to serve. Abby Carrick has come into the front row for the beach. She will be on the left side as a joust at the net is won by Kennedy. And Long Beach State gets a very important natural point. Pass a little too tight to the net. Kennedy having to battle Ellis Swindle. Swindle's a true freshman having to take the assignment to quarterback this Texas Longhorn team, and they are having a little bit of trouble right now. Zayna Meyer, a pretty offensively-minded setter who almost averaged a kill per set last year, gets her first kill this season. Left side it goes. Who else but Skinner to take the swing, but it's a roll shot easily controlled. Akuna with a good up. Skinner again, that one's out and wide. Long Beach State has worked back to within one. 
This is the type of atmosphere that both coaches wanted to open up the season. High bump set out of system. Carrick has to roll it over. Free ball for Long Beach State. Kennedy down the line, good dig. Emma Halter learned so much from Zoe Fleck, who was a great lib for Texas in their national championship season last year, that head coach Jared Elliott has had so much confidence in a sophomore to take over that all-important position. And she just showed up and showed out in that rally. Two-point lead for Texas. Into the net in the serve of Madison Skinner. These are the types of things that you'll see from even the top teams in the country. Shaking off the beginning of the year rust, if you will. And sometimes, even though passing and offensive execution may be on point for the top teams, serving could be a little off. That can be the toughest thing to keep up and to hone in as that set was a little high or the timing from Abby Carrick was a little off. She may have started her first step a little early there on her approach to the net. And it was out of bounds wide. It went wide of the antenna. That's why we saw Akuna just catch the ball. It was pretty obviously out of bounds as Cameron Bacon through the middle. Bacon with her first kill of the year. Cameron Bacon, 6'4", junior, the middle blocker from Fontana has been a top 10 blocker in the Big West the last two years, but hasn't been the main middle on this team. She's always had an upperclassman ahead of her, but now she is an upperclassman trying to help lead this team alongside one of their leaders right here, Zayna Meyer, who just got a service ace. Good block put down by Texas. Bergmark and Winnis. Mostly Winnis on that block. 6'1 junior from Frisco, Texas. She's a transfer from Minnesota. So this is your first look at her in the burnt orange if you're a Texas fan. And she is very highly touted coming out of the Minnesota program that has been so good for so long. She was a preseason all Big 12 selection coming into this year as Abby Carrick off the missed serve, all tied up at 11, puts it over and in. Bergmark through the block and down. Bella Bergmark, one of the senior leaders on this team, has continued her high offensive efficiency from Cal to Texas. And you can see how trusted she can be in the middle on the offensive attack. Cameron Bacon, another kill in the middle, and that is two for three for her. She is leading the beach in offense so far as she will come out and Katie Kennedy will replace her in the front row. In this rotation, it is Tia Shavira back again to serve for the beach. Back and forth we go to start this first set. Out of bounds, Skinner I think was looking for a touch off the block, but she put it a little too far wide, a little too horizontal with that tip. And a timeout has to be called by Jared Elliott in his 23rd year. His second time with a defending national championship or a championship team that he is able to lead here in 2023. But this is this team's returners are not used to defending a national championship as even though it's the second national championship for Jared Elliott, his first one was back 
in 2012, over a decade ago. And of course, anyone that will ask Coach Elliott about, hey, what do you tell your team in defending a national championship this year? He's like, well, that's just all media speak, you know? There's nothing different that he has to tell his team. It's all about just taking it day by day, the training, the attention to detail that this program has always done throughout his career as the Texas head coach. He is the all-time winningest head coach at Texas. And he is very excited to be here in Southern California to start the year as well. He is a Southern California guy as well. Played at Palisades High School. Also was a player at Pepperdine and Hawaii, and he coached at Marymount High School, and also his alma mater Palisades, as that one catches a little bit of Emma Halter on the way out. But Tia Shavira gets a little luck on this service ace. And of course, any server will tell you an ace is luck, mostly luck, a little bit of location, a little bit of a good flat serve if it's a float serve. Never looking to get an ace, just looking to get a team out of system. That time, Texas is definitely in system and was able to get a good spot on that tip. Bella Bergmark back to serve for the Longhorns once again. Long Beach State up by one. Right side, it's Glenn. Through the block and down. That's what can hurt for Texas without their star middle, Asia O'Neill. Look at how big the gap is in the block as Natalie Glenn was able to take advantage and pretty much go straight down. And she is back to serve with that spin serve she's been working on. Joust at the net, won by Meyer. Texas and Skinner gets blocked and hooked. Katie Kennedy, Zayna Meyer up on that double block. It was pretty much all Kennedy with the contact. Skinner had to go inside of the block and you saw a little bit of a drop of the hands by Katie Kennedy going angled there, knowing where Skinner wanted to go. And now Long Beach State up by two. That was a big natural point. They'll take any natural point they can get. Keonilea Akana back in for Texas. Akana, a great server for Texas. She, in fact, clinched the national title last year with a service ace on championship point. Lisiak. That's in. First kill of the year for Hannah Lisiak, the Northwestern transfer. Grew up in Frankfort, Illinois. Finds herself in Southern California for her graduate year. As Skinner goes cross court, that's just a solid swing. Even though that's not a full swing from Skinner, you know she can put more pace on the ball. She's just looking to find a rhythm. And she went cross court for the winner and just put enough top spin on the ball to get her fifth kill. She has a match leading five kills so far as Carrick goes hard through the seam. Abby Carrick has a lot of firepower that you'll be seeing throughout the year if you watch Long Beach State matches. This transfer has a lot of pop. Averaged only 1.36 kills per set last year in Utah. She was more of a role player, but I think she will be an every match starter for Long Beach State in this her first year with the beach. Another attempt at the net. Texas out of system. 
and a free ball opportunity. Meyer in the middle, it's Bacon off the block. Three for four, no errors so far for Cameron Bacon. Long Beach State up by four on the number one ranked team in the country. Outside it goes, and a good tip, good pickup by Savannah Chacon to keep it alive. That is in! I'm telling you, Abby Carrick is one to watch in the Big West this year. She has pretty much every shot in the book. You know how your coach in volleyball, maybe when you're younger, will tell you, never drop that elbow. <laughs> she has no problem dropping her elbow for any roll shot that she needs to put across the net. As Long Beach State finds themselves up 5-5 five, five in this, the sixth match in history between these two programs. And yes, the last time they met up was back in 2010. Julianne Fawcett, remember that great outside hitter for Texas, was Texas's kill leader that day. And Caitlin Ledoux for Long Beach State led them with 22 that match. And that match ended up being the 1,000th win for Texas in their program's history. So the last time these two met up was a pretty historic night. This night could also be historic as Long Beach State is looking to get their first victory over Texas in well over a decade. You saw a shot of a men's volleyball player. You can see a lot of men's volleyball players in the student section. I see Sotos, Sotiris Shapanis, the great outside hitter for Long Beach State men's volleyball team. And Long Beach State has hit 21st here in the first set. How does Texas handle being down by five in the first set? That's how. Go right back to their left side hitter, Jenna Winnis. If you're a Texas fan, you're gonna like Jenna Winnis. That's what Coach Jared Elliott has kind of been hyping up for this year's team. He really likes that they have Jenna Wenis to kind of replace the spot that has been left by Logan Eggleston, of course, one of the great outside hitters in Texas history. Net violation called on the Longhorns. So it is 22, I should say 21, 21 serving 16. Love the look of the net cam this year here on ESPN Plus. You can see those tough calls at the net. One more time. Off the block, Natalie Glenn able to cap off a great rally. Savannah Chacon with a great effort. Look at the dive of Chacon and the awareness to put it across the net with Carrick stumbling off of Chacon's diving body and able to put it to an open. Natalie Glenn, what a swing by Jenna Wenis. An ABCA All North Region selection last year, second team All Big Ten. She could be looking for more this year. In the middle is Cameron Bacon, that's dug up. Right side, and a good swing from Molly Phillips. Phillips, that's just her first kill of the night so far. She's averaging 
over two kills a set. At least last year she was, and she was a 381 hitter. Outside it goes. Looking for her hands was Natalie Glenn, but she did not hit any. And now Texas is close to within three. Here in the first set, timeout taken by Coach Tyler Hildebrand, who in just his second year has to lead this squad against a number one ranked team in the country. Yeah, I don't think there was a touch on that block. But this is what Coach Hildebrand hopes is the start of a yearly occurrence in terms of scheduling a lot of really tough non-conference opponents every year. He has a really not tough non-conference schedule this year as Texas travels to Long Beach, something that they may not be used to in terms of a yearly occurrence, but the Texas fans have traveled well. No problem going from Texas to Southern California as we are ending August on a pretty high note and we are starting the 2023 athletic season on a high note as well. Texas winning another national championship last year. They also have won 30 out of their last 32 road matches dating back to 2019. They are on the verge of experiencing something they did not experience much last year, and that's losing the first set. But they have come back strong in the late stages, and this is where the top teams in the country can separate themselves. But in the first match of the year, that can be a tall order as Coach Jared Elliott brings in a 6-4 front row player in Devin Kahahawai, 6'4 sophomore from Kailua, Hawaii. Kahahawai is one of their taller players and brings some height at the net. And that may be what Coach Jared Elliott is looking for late in this first set. She couldn't factor into that rally as Hannah Lysiak tipping it off the block for what is now set point in set number one for Long Beach State. A little break to wipe the floor. The fans are on their feet inside the Walter Pyramid. What a way to start the 2023 season. Abby Carrick back to serve. Right side. Dug up or popped up. And Kahahavai is dug up by Meyer. Cross court bump set, and that's dug up. Kahahavai again. Over the block, and she gets her first kill. Needless to say, Texas needed that side out. The Hawaii comes out, and back in comes Bella Bergmark. Jenna Winnes back to serve. In the middle, a back one for Cameron Bacon. That's out of bounds. Still three points to work with for Long Beach State, as they are still at set point. Another substitution here, a serving substitution for Texas. This is Carissa Barnes, 5'7", redshirt senior. She's a transfer from A&M Corpus Christi. Tough serve here. Right side, Glenn. That's dug up. Good pop-up save and a free ball opportunity for the Longhorns. In the middle. That's a big kill. Bella Bergmark in the middle with a clutch kill in the first set. 
still set point for Long Beach State. Barnes with a tough serve, almost an ace. Lisiak gets dug up. Skinner has to roll it across. Blinn blocked, good pop-up save. Lisiak looking for a touch. No touch called. Another challenge from Long Beach State coming. They were adamant there was a touch on that one. Right now, Texas has closed to within one. But they are in a challenge phase with Long Beach State who is looking for a touch off the block. It was a high swing looking for the top of the fingertips. And that is always the toughest thing to see, no matter if it is slow motion or if, is it, or if it's in real time, right? Lisiak looking for a fingertip on this block. Boy, that is tough to see. Let's see if the net cam has a better look. Mm. The outside hand on this block, the fingertips might have moved back a little bit. <laughs> Some of the men's basketball team in attendance, courtside. They see a touch. You can also see some of the women's basketball team in that shot as well. As Long Beach State in high spirits, no matter what, this has been a heck of a set one to start the year, no matter what happens. Should this be overturned, Long Beach State, Long Beach State wins set number one. Burton Fuller says, it is Long Beach State point. They win the first set. The Beach up one set to none on Texas. 25-22, we will be back with more here on ESPN Plus after this. Texas had four more service errors than Long Beach State, and they didn't get an ace. Long Beach State had only two service errors and two aces. And in a set that was only decided by three points, that's all that you need to take the first set. Katie Kennedy is blocked and roofed. Bella Bergmark back to serve, coming off of that block. Texas was 28 and one overall last year. 15 and one in conference. And Abby Carrick with a good swing off the block and out. Carrick with her third kill of the night so far. Three for seven and no attacking errors. Hitting 429. Skinner gets dug up. Carrick, roll shot, scramble play. Skinner has to two-hand it over, but great placement by one of the top outside hitters that we'll be watching across the country this year. Maddie Skinner, even though she was well outside the antenna, she was able to sneak it past and down, and now Kayla Akana back to serve. The transfer from Nebraska. <laughs> Knows Coach Tyler Hildebrand pretty well, as Hildebrand was an associate head coach there for about five years. 
Zayna Meyer back to serve for Long Beach State. Skinner. Seven kills leading everybody. Madison Skinner. Nothing you can do to stop that. Third team All-American last year. All-American honorable mention two times before that. She's a two-time national champion, by the way. As there's a big block put down by Texas. Singletary and Swindle combining on that double block. Natalie Glenn having a tough time getting it through what could be the best blocking team that Coach Jared Elliott has put out there, according to Elliott himself. Another block put down. They averaged two and a half blocks per set last year. That was good for fourth in the Big 12. And of all the stats per set that you could see on Texas's ledger last year, that's the one that could, you could say was a little low. And Coach Jared Elliott has definitely retooled that area of this year's squad. Of course, again, no Asia O'Neill in the middle. That takes away a little bit of blocking. But he has been impressed by Mariana Singletary, who is in the middle right now. Glenn has to roll it over. Easy pickup. Winnis. A solid starter in Minnesota. But Coach Jared Elliott has said she is a completely different player than when she got there in the spring. Long Beach State calls a timeout. We'll take a break as well here on ESPN+. Plus. For the beach, she will be on the left side in this rotation. See her on the bottom of your screen, 28 in white. Long Beach State hitting negative 429 to start this second set. And that won't help either. Madison Skinner with a service ace. First ace of the match for Texas as Skinner only had 10 aces last year. Gets her first one, probably looking for more in this season as that goes long. Long Beach State was down by as much as five last set. They were able to come all the way back pretty much in the middle of that first set, took the lead in the back end, and was able to close it out. Good swing down the line. Madison Skinner from the back row. And a good back set in tempo. Nobody there to challenge Skinner at the net. Tough pass to handle. Free ball opportunity. Texas, good block. Bacon blocked back. Hayes looking for a touch off the block. She gets it. So Long Beach State point. As there is a discussion between top official Sergio Gonzalez and the Lions judge Rachel Jensen. And instead, it is Point Texas, so no touch off the block. She may have been saying touch off of Long Beach State going out of bounds. Long Beach State won't challenge it. Texas was pretty certain there was no touch off the block. And we'll play on. So Point Texas, it is now 10 serving three. Longhorns with their biggest lead of the night so far. And another missed serve. 
You can probably take a look back at that. Wipe trying to get a touch off the block. Yeah, it looked pretty wide of that outside hand. Mara Hayes, again, the new entry into this match. She's on the right side right now, Tia Shavira. Back to serve. And she tries to dig the Jenna Wenis attack, but Wenis is now catching a little hot streak. Four kills on 12 errorless swings for Jenna Wenis. Good cross-court cross swing. As Swindle gets a good serve over. Wenis against the triple block, no touch. Texas thinks there was a touch off the block. Coach Jared Elliott might challenge here. Instead, backs up, doesn't take the challenge card, and will play on. Maura Hayes has been working on this jump spin serve, and it has been pretty effective so far as Molly Phillips. Second kill of the night so far for Phillips. She's probably looking for more here in this second set. Well below her average per set in the first. Only one kill there. As Carissa Barnes back to serve. Kennedy finds the seam, finds the back line. But Long Beach State tries to keep up early in this second set. Abby Carrick back into the front row, replacing Nicole Hoff. And Alizia back to serve for the beach. That's into the net. Just the third service error for the beach so far. Bergmark back to serve for the Longhorns. And that's into the net. Texas has now hit double digits in service errors. 10. Savannah Chacon back to serve, donning the off color jersey once again this year. The transfer from Purdue with a good serve. Skinner has to two hand it over. Bacon! Team leading five kills for Cameron Bacon. That was technically a net violation on Texas. Point Long Beach State either way. Chacon missing on that serve. It is a six-point lead for the Longhorns as they bring back in Keonile Akana. She was a big contributor to Nebraska for two years before coming to Texas. And all she does in her first year with the Longhorns is help them clinch the national title. Jenna Giambi with the pass there. She has come in for Long Beach State, but a triple block, nowhere to go for Cameron Bacon. What <laughs> a big block put up by the Longhorns. That is 6-3, 6-4, and 6-2 across the net for Texas right now. Carrick into the block, gets the kill. Abby Carrick with four kills now on 10 swings as Mara Hayes comes back into the front row. So she has become the right side hitter for Long Beach State for the foreseeable future. That one's out. So service errors now coming to bite Long Beach State in set number two.
Jenna Wenis back into the front row for Texas. Madison Skinner back to serve. That is a great serve from Skinner and her second service ace. If that's the serve that we'll be seeing all year long, that takes Maddie Skinner's play to the next level. Again, she only had 10 service aces all year last year, already with two in the first match of the season. That's in from Cameron Bacon. This is the kind of test that Coach Tyler Hildebrand wanted to see his team face early on in the year. How will they bounce back from adversity? How will they be able to take a set win and react from that? Right side, Hayes, that's in. Maura Hayes, who is a backup setter on this team, has been taking swings on the right side as well. And Coach Tyler Hildebrand has just been so impressed with the way she has been able to deliver when called upon as Singletary with another kill. Halter goes back to serve. Emma Halter, highly touted out of Indianapolis, Indiana, was the number one ranked player in the state of Indiana in high school. As that one's off the block and out. Big kill for Mara Hayes. Tia Shavira comes back in to serve for the beach. Tip and an easy pickup. Shavira is a setter in her own right. So that was a good back set from Shavira and it keeps Long Beach State in system. And Texas was just off kilter enough to send one out of bounds and a timeout called by Texas. They see their lead go down to five though they are still well in control here in the second set. Longhorns looking to get a side out, try to break this serve of Tia Shavira from Long Beach State. Coach Tyler Hildebrand has said they want to be able to take whatever challenge comes their way in Texas. Well, for Texas, Coach Jared Elliott was saying that it was such a whirlwind of attention after winning a championship last year. It can be so draining after the season to still be able to do interviews, be able to have media attention surrounding you. And he was kind of treating it as an opportunity to let his returning players have a good break. A lot of players took that time to travel, took some good vacation, and took some much needed days off. And once they were able to get back into the gym, they were refreshed and ready to take on a season where they're looking to go back to back. Helping them get away from the championship attention was a key for Coach Jared Elliott and they seem primed and ready to defend their championship. Yes, tonight it is without one of their best players. But if they're able to bounce back here in set number two, they could be well on their way to having a little bit of a comeback victory on their hands. And that would be a good win to start the year. That serve is long from Shavir. Four service errors from Long Beach State doubling their total from set number one. And that may be a key difference in this set. Following a really big set victory to open the year 
as that serve goes long from Ella Swindle. Mara Hayes back to serve. And we get to see that jump serve once again. And a good one over and in. Texas so good in being able to handle a tough serve. What a pass from Emma Holter to set that up. Again, watch how easily in system Texas was off of that hard serve from Mara Hayes. And Wenis off the kill comes out. Carissa Barnes comes back in to serve for her. And that one is out. Service error is keeping Long Beach State in it. Here in set number two, they're down five. This is pretty much the opposite score from what we saw in set number one. Texas now with the advantage, hitting 21st. And they are looking to end set number two with a win. What a great set from Ella Swinda. Joust at the net, won by Long Beach State, but Molly Phillips with the second opportunity, able to put it down. Texas up seven. Bella Bergmark has had some good runs from the service line. That's a good serve, tickling the tape. Off the block and out goes Abby Carrick. Five kills on 12 swings for Carrick. Savannah Chacon back to serve. In the middle, Singletary. They call her Mari. And Singletary has been really in control in this second set. This, her third kill of the night so far. Akana back to serve. Over on two goes Meyer, that is down. And another kill for Zayna Meyer. So Long Beach State finds themselves down six late in this second set. Big opportunity for Texas to close this set out. The Long Beach State's pretty much best server is back there in Meyer. Over on two, Ella Swindle responds. Ella Swindle is the Big 12 Cold Preseason Freshman of the Year with Kendall Stowers and Baylor. As Skinner puts her serve into the net. So it is set point Texas as Abby Carrick goes back to serve for Long Beach State. Beach just looking to work their way back into this with Texas looking to even up the match score. Good block! And that block party has started for the Longhorns. Wenis and Singletary combining on that double block that has dominated set number two. And Texas is even up this match. We're all tied up at one here on ESPN Plus. We'll be back. Texas themselves was tops in the country in opponent hitting percentage last year as well. 
only letting opponents hit 163. They're well on their way to doing that, though that won't help as Hannah Lisiak starts set number three off with a kill. Texas has certainly found a rhythm, and they're looking to continue that here in set number three. Long Beach State is looking to bounce back in this all-important third set. In the middle, Bella Bergmark has certainly found her rhythm. Four kills on four swings. Hitting a 1,000 as she will go back to serve. Think that's a back row setter violation called on Long Beach State. Ball was right at the net. Zayna Meyer pleading her case to top official Sergio Gonzalez. They're trying to say that Mariana Singletary only hit her arm, who was trying to save the ball from going over the net. I don't think there is any way to really overturn that call as Texas up by one early here in the third. Katie Kennedy. Following that Katie Kennedy swing, we can take a look back at that previous point. It may look like Singletary got a slight bit of the ball. Either way, Texas now with the attack. Zayn Meyer counters, going over on two. Meyer had 87 kills as a 5-1 setter last year. She is well on her way to repeating that already. Meyer with her third kill of the match. As Maura Hayes is back to serve, starting this third set in the opposite position for Long Beach State. It's a little wrinkle and who Tyler Hildebrand has put out there this year. Skinner, I don't think there was a touch on the block. Four hits caught on Texas. Long Beach State up by two here. Long Beach State just trying to get Texas out of system and that was a good example of that as Hayes with the serve just missing. And she will be replaced in the back row with Jenna Giambi. Jenna Giambi who has played so well in the off season and that scrimmage against Pepperdine earned her way onto the floor to start this season. Nicole Hoff with a good, plan, with a good pass and Lisiak getting Texas to put over a free ball, over on two, blocked back. Lisiak again, touch off the block. Good look at the touch, a little bit of a redirect on the ball. Going high hands was Lisiak, getting another kill. Singletary into the block. Texas scrambling. Skinner locked back. Meyer blocked and roofed. Mari Singletary once again putting up a big block in the middle. Sometimes a younger setter's like Zayna Meyer, could get a little attack happy, if you will. As Katie Kennedy, she is very comfortable on the right side. 
Texas had that scouted. They know that Kennedy can take a swing from the right side, even though she's in the middle blocker position. Look at how she's so comfortable playing like she's an opposite once again in that rotation, getting the side out. Now Chacon serving it into the net. That is the eighth service error for Long Beach State. Though 13 service errors for Texas in this match so far. Beach up at by one with Halter to serve. Carrick finding the outside hand and Abby Carrick now with six kills, matching the team lead. You can see that Abby Carrick has the ability to bring out every trick up her sleeve. And now a tough pass and a free ball put over from Texas leaves it to Mara Hayes. Bella Bergmark dug up. Hayes again. Off the block and out. The ability to recycle, as many coaches will say across the country, is so important. Even if you're blocked back, can you pop it up, reset, and attack again? Texas unable to do so there, and it's a free ball for Long Beach State. Two-handed over. Into the block goes Carrot. Here's a recycle for Long Beach State. Down ball, and it's in! <laughs> you don't see that often. As Mara Hayes was well off balance, that's called a down ball because she is not really jumping to attack across the net. Ends up being a kill as Texas has to take a timeout. Four point lead for Long Beach State in set number three. Take a break here as well, here on ESPN Plus. All important third set, the pivot set, if you will. Chacon, the secondary setter. Tamora Hayes, that's dug up by Kaylee Akana. Good tip on a tough set to handle. Jenna Wenis has just been pivotal to Texas's offense in this match so far. Left-handed, finding the floor. And Wenis now with five kills on 20 swings. New entry, this is Mariana Crownover. And that one's long. Four point lead for Long Beach State. Abby Carrick back to serve. Good serve, better pass, good swing, better dig. Lisiak. Hannah Lisiak with six kills now. Three beach members with six kills to lead the team. And Hannah Lisiak, who struggled a little bit in the offseason scrimmage against Pepperdine, has come up big for Long Beach State so far in this match. She's hitting 250. Carrick misses on that serve, but she did get a natural point. Nicole Hoff replaces her again in the back row. And for Texas, they will bring back in Carissa Barnes. Carissa Barnes, a redshirt senior, the transfer from AM Corpus Christi, may be the greatest player to come out of that program. As Skinner, off the triple block, gets popped up. Lee's Yak couldn't get back in transition quick enough. Zayna Meyer, you can see how low that set is. Even in transition, that's what can be so tough for even experienced transfers like Lee's Yak. Long Beach State 
runs as quick of an offense as you'll see across the country. Good set, but a better block by Texas. Molly Phillips and Bella Bergmark. Good cross court set for Lysiak who hit it really hard high hands, but not high enough. Maura Hayes gets blocked and moved. This is that blocking prowess that the Longhorns are going to instill all year long. One point lead for Long Beach State as Coach Tyler Hildebrand takes a timeout. Long Beach State all of a sudden only hitting 250 in the set as Texas starts to come back and even the score. We are all tied at one set apiece between the reigning defending national champions, Texas and Long Beach State in the season opener. Again, this is the first match of the LBSU tournament. We will see Texas and Loyola Marymount tomorrow. It is so great to be here in Southern California for some women's volleyball. Of course, there is a lot of great women's volleyball to watch here in Southern California. And this is our upcoming schedule here on ESPN Plus. Long Beach State will take on Loyola Marymount on Sunday, as that will be on at 4 p.m. And then they'll take on Indiana, Washington, and UCLA in the Long Beach State Tournament next week, all at the Walter Pyramid. Really exciting non-conference schedule for the beach this year. Skinner, off the block and down. Maddie Skinner with nine kills, leading everybody. However, right before that swing, Long Beach State had held her to just 192 hitting. So that's probably part of the reason why Texas hasn't been able to quite dominate throughout this match. Bacon gets dug up. Skinner! just over the top of the triple block put up by Long Beach State. You talk about a high point swing. Madison Skinner is one of the better left sides you'll find. Hayes gets another kill. So Mara Hayes now with five kills on 10 swings. Tia Shavira comes back in to serve for the beach. Shavira already with a service ace tonight. Tip and easily picked up by Lysiak. Katie Kennedy in the middle. Free ball opportunity once again for Long Beach State. Right side, good decision by Zayna Meyer. Meyer able to get that blocking defense of Texas spread out a little too much. And Maura Hayes had an outside hand to use. Good swing from Hayes off that outside hand of Madison Skinner. Overpass kill. And a great serve from Tia Shavera to set that up. Katie Kennedy, we know she has the offense. And she has the quickness and the ability to play the middle position. We'll see if she's able to really hone in the blocking in the middle for Long Beach State this year. Tip and a good pickup. Hayes sneaks it through. Yeah. 
15-12, Long Beach State. Great bump set from Lisiak, just putting it right where Hayes was waiting. And yes, Mara Hayes may not have too much of a transition and an approach, but that's just kind of how her style of hitting is. She just has a lot of power. And some may say a heavy ball. And it's tough to block and dig. And that's why she can be so effective on the right side. Here's Bella Bergmark, Bella Bergmark back to serve for Texas. Katie Kennedy in the middle, finding a corner. And she now has six kills. That is now five beach members with at least six kills in this match. Mara Hayes leading them all with seven. And Hayes with a good serve and an ace. That one called in by Chris Hahn. And Mara Hayes is really showing off the work she has put in to this jump spin serve. Serve into the net. But she did get a natural point on the ace. Long Beach State with three service aces this match. Texas with two. Speaking of service aces, Keone Leakana back in to serve for the Longhorns. Akana and her teammate on Texas, Devin Kahahavai, both from the high school Kamehameha Kapalama, the island of Oahu, as Anna Lizia tips it over the block just in front of Akana. Looks like a hook shot, doesn't it, in basketball? You'll see that a lot from hitters that I guess you could say are undersized. Uh, many hitters across the country are undersized according to Texas's block though, as Lisiak from the back row gets dug up. Good placement from Maddie Skinner. Able to take what the triple block gave her. Had a wide open area four. And now Skinner will go back to serve. Skinner leading everybody with 11 kills so far. Good quick tempo, and that is a net violation called on Texas. That's what you'll see, a super fast tempo, like you'll see from Long Beach State's offense, can do to an opposing block. They'll find out that they're maybe a step late on their block and they'll try to make up for it and sometimes they'll get caught in the net. Outside it goes. And a block in the roof. Meyer and Bacon. That's just the second team block of the night for Long Beach State. And the Longhorns have to take a timeout. We have seen this 20 to 15 mark, every set so far, it's just gone back and forth. So right now, it is Long Beach State 20, Texas 15 going into this timeout. 20 to 15, a five point lead for the beach. Jadon Jones and the rest of the men's basketball team on hand to witness what could be an upset, but there's still a long way to go. That helps. The block from Bacon and Meyer. Jenna Winnis, who has been so good all match long, getting blocked there, going into the timeout for Texas. Here's their upcoming schedule as they will face Loyola Marymount tomorrow. And we will have that LMU matchup against Texas 
tomorrow afternoon, 1 p.m. Pacific time. And then they will just continue what is a yearly occurrence, a tough non-conference schedule, Minnesota, Stanford, and then Florida Gulf Coast. Long Beach State Women's Volleyball brought to you by Cave Toyota. As the Beach find themselves up by five going into this serve from Savannah Chacon. Outside, it's Wenis over the outstretched arm from Jenna Wenis. A little missed connection there. Boy, it is so tough to just come into the first match of the year in a new system as a true freshman setter. I think there is a little bit of debris from the ceiling here in the Walter Pyramid. That is how loud and that is how just high energy this match has been throughout the night from both sides. Bacon gets dug up. Carrick. Abby Carrick with eight kills now leading all beach members. We haven't been seeing a lot of hard hits from either side. That's what happens when they're just good serves and when maybe it's just the first match of the year, right? But Long Beach State has just been able to handle those slightly out of system sets and oh, a rotation violation called on Texas. They just brought in a new setter. We already saw her in this match, Mar Marina Crownover. The 5'10 redshirt freshman. And I think she either left early or she kind of set up her middle. Mariana Singletary, a little out of position before the serve. So that was a free point for Long Beach State. Carrick a little too tight to the net. Long Beach State has some points to work with as they look to close out set number three. Good serve, better pass. In the middle, it's Bacon. Carrick popped up. Crown over, that is her first set to her middle. And you can already see just a little bit of miscommunication. Middle expecting a back one, crown over setting it like a backslide, I believe. So she's setting it closer to the pin there. And that little miscue will give Long Beach State set point in set number three. Out of bounds. The Beach go up in this match. Two sets to one. Long Beach State looking to topple number one in the country. Going to set four after this. Ready to get things going in set number four. If Long Beach State wins this set, they win the match and upset Texas. Good pass and a good start for the Longhorns and Madison Skinner with their 13th kill of the match. Obviously, she is leading everybody in that department. She has shown her offensive prowess all night long. However, the hitting percentage a little bit lower than what you would expect. She's hitting 257 right now, as that is a kill for Katie Kennedy. 
That is a lift called on Texas when they were trying to keep the ball up off the block. It's tough to really overturn a call like that. That's a judgment call from top official Sergio Gonzalez. Madison Skinner and coach Jared Elliott both pleading their case. Watch the hand of one of the blockers at the net. If it's a closed fist, that is the argument they are trying to say. It's a closed fist, tough to tell there. They're saying it was a closed fist, not an open palm. Open palm almost always gets called for a lift. I mean, it hit the wrist, kind of carried on the wrist for a little bit on an upward trajectory. That's usually going to be a lift called. So I would say pretty good call made by Sergio Gonzalez. That one down the line. Devin Kahahalai. In talking with Coach Jared Elliott earlier this week, he says she could be one that takes that right side position. She has a big block being 6'4", and she can do that. Great swing down the line. And she gets replaced by her teammate from high school and her teammate now, Kayle Akana. Katie Kennedy has to roll it over. A little off balance there. Two hand over from Skinner. Jenna Giambi, good high set. Bump set from Jenna Giambi was a beauty for Hannah Lizia. You can't expect Madison Skinner to give that many two hand overs on Texas all year long, just this first night, getting acclimated to the true freshman setter as Swindle goes back to Skinner. Good dig by Giambi, keeps it in play. But a free ball opportunity. Longhorns and Skinner blocked back. Akana to Skinner, two hand over. Carrick blocked back. Carrick again. Good pickup by Akana. Skinner, that's down. What a rally. What high level volleyball we're witnessing here in the Walter Pyramid on day one. Skinner will go back to serve. She's one of the five returning starters from last year's championship squad. Puts that serve out of bounds. 10 overall returners for Texas this year. Three transfers, five freshmen. Here's a returner for Long Beach State and one of their leaders, Tia Shavira, grad student out of San Bernardino. And a good serve, overpass. In transition, it's Bacon. Phillips gets dug up. Carrick, through the block and down. Abby Carrick with nine kills on 22 swings. You could say she is looking to show her true potential, never really got a full-time starting shot in college volleyball in her career. As that's a good swing from Jenna Winnis. Winnis with her seventh kill of the night. Struggling a little bit in that third set. Saw her hitting percentage go well down. She was hitting 120 before that swing. Carrick, roll shot, she was trying to find the back line, overshot it. And it's a one point lead for Texas. Back and forth we go. Longhorns need this set to force a set number five. Bacon. Bacon. 
Cameron Bacon with her seventh kill on 21 swings. She has gotten over 20 swings in the middle position tonight. Long Beach State definitely going inside out in their offense. Skinner from the back row, good dig by Meyer. Hayes, did that hit the block? It did. Points like that can be tough to judge if you're an official. Tight to the net and the antenna, but it definitely hit the block first. One point lead for Long Beach State. Tape shot, service eight. Zayno Meyer. Two aces on the night for the star setter for Long Beach State. Never got a chance at BYU. Didn't hit the floor, redshirted, transferred to Long Beach State. Has been looking like one of the better setters in the Big West Conference ever since. She's just a redshirt sophomore as Jenna Wenis. Showing why she is the pin hitter of the future for Texas. Wenis and Skinner, both great pin hitters for the Longhorns and they will be here for more than one year. They're both juniors this year. Roll shot from Carrick. Kahavai gets dug up. Bump set over the net. Kahavai dunks it down. That was going out and she didn't care. Six four and the elevation to reach it, that was basically at that second stripe on the antenna. That is really high. Carrick from the middle. That's dug up. Good dig by Chacon. Hayes. Out of bounds off the block. I think Texas thinks that was in off the block. I think we're gonna get a challenge from the Longhorns. Let's see here, off the Hayes hit. Where does this ball land? That is not the best angle for that shot. But it does look like it had a chance for touching the line. That's for sure. This could be a close one and a tough one to call once again for Burton Fuller. If there's maybe a baseline angle, we might get a better look at that shot off the block. We're definitely looking to see if the ball landed on that white line or not. That is tough. Is there enough to overturn? There is not. That ball also came softly off the block, so there isn't much compression on the ball. You'll see it in tennis a lot as well. When you see a replay review, you'll actually see how the ball compresses onto the line. That will count. But this one, the ball kind of just bounced easily, and it really didn't touch the line there. Good pickup off the block for Long Beach State. Lisiak. Roll shot, good dig by Skinner. Hayes, that's a blocking roof. Meyer thought it was in. Might have been going out off the block. Either way, Texas point. Devin Kahavai has been a major contributor since entering this match in set number four. We're all tied up at eight. Carissa Barnes. And she can't 
big Bacon swing. Cameron Bacon, who averaged 1.27 kills percent last year, already has her eighth kill of the night. That's already a two kills per set average in day one. Skinner over the double block, but it didn't catch hands. Went out of bounds. Long Beach State with a natural point. Savannah Chacon was one of the best servers in the Big West Conference last year. Fourth in service aces per set. It's a good serve there. Better reception and swing for Texas and Bella Bergmark. Bergmark has been pretty much their best hitter. Five kills on eight errorless swings, hitting 625 after that one. In the middle, it's Katie Kennedy. Locked back, here's Mara Hayes. That's out of bounds. Couldn't ask for anything else on opening night between Texas and Long Beach State. All knotted at 10 in this pivotal set number four. Lisiak. Didn't catch hands, went wide. Long Beach State hitting 200 in this set. Texas hitting 316. Mara Hayes, team leading 10 kills for Hayes. When you talk about Mara Hayes, you talk about a 6'2 junior coming in as a setter, getting setter reps in practice, not even really practicing hitting from the right side. But she has been able to contribute in a major way tonight. Kayla Akana back to serve once again for Texas. Kuna had 34 service aces last year. Really solid server. Lisiak through the block and down. Anna Lisiak. Catching up to Mara Hayes in kills, though hitting under 200 as she goes back to serve. And now Long Beach State over on one! The bounce has just gone Long Beach State's way. Certainly not what Jenna Giambi was intending, but Giambi with a kill to start her 2023 season. Now with a good pop-up save. And a swing from Abby Carrick on the overpass. Timeout, Texas. Long Beach State up 14 to 12. The Beach looking to upset number one in the country after this. Welcome back. Following the Texas timeout, just missed a quick side out. Madison Skinner with another kill. Skinner has been as advertised for the Longhorns. As Katie Kennedy gets blocked in roof. 
big block for Texas. They even this score up at 14 apiece in a set that they absolutely need. It is 14-14, Skinner to serve again. A big side out for Long Beach State to break the serve of Madison Skinner. And now Tia Shavira back to serve. That service error for Texas is number 16 on the night. Definitely not what Jared Elliott is looking for from his squad on match number one. Good dig by Tia Shavira who just came in to serve. Just went a little too wide. A good effort by Abby Carrick going into the front row. All tied at 15. We have gone back and forth in this fourth set. And a new entry for Long Beach State, replacing Carrick, who came up a little slow. Just give her a little breather following that extra effort. Elise Aggie. That is out of bounds long. Texas might challenge this one. No, they won't. They will stay put. That one was pretty close. As Long Beach State goes back up by one, Zayna Myers back to serve. Again, you will see a new left side hitter. Elise Aggie. 5'11 junior from San Francisco. She's a transfer from Oregon. As Meyer puts a good serve over, joust at the net, won by Bacon. Wenis dug up. Hayes blocked and roofed. Jenna Wenis has not had a great hitting percentage. Neither has her teammate Madison Skinner. However, they each have had multiple blocks to help their team throughout the night. In the middle, it's Bacon. That is in. Hagee right, back to serve now. Outside, Kahavai. Devin Kahavai with her fourth kill, all in the fourth set. Carissa Barnes comes back in to serve for the Longhorns. Lisiak popped up. Good pick up by Chacon. Hayes, right side, good dig. Skinner, good pop up. Bacon, that's a good dig. Free ball opportunity, Long Beach State. Lisiak, that's down. Tyler Hildebrand has loved the effort throughout the night. And a good decision to go cross court to Hannah Lisiak for the winner there. It is 18 serving 17. Home stretch of set number four, and we remain neck and neck. What a fourth set. Eighteen, eighteen. Katie Kennedy down. Long Beach State retakes the one point lead. They have the advantage still as they approach 20. 
Mara Hayes, who has been a great server tonight for them. Jump, spin, serve goes long there. That's the 12th service error for Long Beach State tonight. 17 for Texas, so that's kind of been a big difference and a tough one for Texas to take in match number one on their 2023 campaign. Kayla Akana back to serve again. Lisiak, high hands, easy picker. Skinner, that is out of bounds. Madison Skinner averaged over three and a half kills per set last year. That is a ton. And also hit 307 tonight. The hitting percentage not up to par. She's hitting 222, and it only went down from there. Lizia, actually, that's Elise Aggie. Skinner out of bounds. Even though Madison Skinner is leading everybody with 15 kills, that is on well over 45 swings, and now her seventh hitting error of the night. So Long Beach State, as an athletics department, has welcomed a new executive director of athletics. This is Bobby Smitherin. He is in-house tonight, witnessing what is a potential upset of Long Beach State and Texas. We welcome Bobby Smitherin to the Long Beach State family. He comes from San Diego State, also had stints at UC Irvine, so he knows the Big West well. And now Long Beach State, at least their women's volleyball program, looking to give him a warm welcome. So 21-19, Long Beach State. If they win this set, they win the match and upset Texas. Longhorns could come back and win this set and force a set number five. Hannah Lisiak, back to serve. Outside is Skinner, blocked back. Anna Roof! Big block. Zena Meyer and Katie Kennedy combining on this double block of what could be a top outside hitter in the country, Madison Skinner. Three-point advantage for the beach. Right side, it's Phillips blocked and roofed. <laughs> Momentum in this game can be so big. Blocks can be the biggest way to get momentum. Long Beach State just had two in a row and they're two points away from victory. Madison Skinner says, hold on, wait a minute. Sixteen kills for Skinner, but she is hitting under 150. Good serve. Texas looking to use that overpass. 
Good scramble play for Long Beach State. Keeps it alive. Winnis. Big swing from Jenna Winnis. She hits double figures and a timeout called by Coach Tyler Hildebrand of Long Beach State. Two point advantage still for the beach. Texas looking to make the comeback and force a set number five. They're definitely within range. Long Beach State, who has only hit 222, but they've been able to hold Texas to 211 in the hitting percentage department. The Longhorns, who led the Big 12 in kills, hitting percentage, opponent hitting percentage, and service aces have not really done so tonight. This is a look at that last swing from Jenna Wenis, a great chase down by the Long Beach State back row, and then Wenis got another opportunity at it. She has 10 kills on 33 swings. She's hitting 212. Still a two-point advantage for Long Beach State. Big serve coming from Madison Skinner. Aggie! Elise Aggie! She wasn't much of a front row threat at Oregon but now she transfers to Long Beach State and is an immediate contributor. Hagee was used more as a serving specialist. And now Long Beach State putting her in the front row and now it is match point. Katie Kennedy to serve. Winnis. Jenna Winnis with 11 kills now. Still match point for Long Beach State against number one Texas on opening night. Outside it goes, Aggie! Long Beach State upsets Texas. Unreal. Magic in the Walter Pyramid. For Long Beach State, the last time they faced the number one ranked opponent in their season opener, they hosted Stanford back in 2017. They lost that in straight sets. Tonight, they take Texas to four sets and they win. What a way to start the year. Texas, you know, they will be better than probably their performance tonight. Reason being, they will have Asia O'Neill the rest of the way. But for tonight, it is Long Beach State on top. For a great ESPN Plus crew, I'm Matt Brown saying so long from Long Beach. Final score, they take it in four. We'll be back tomorrow night at 1 p.m., actually tomorrow afternoon, 1 p.m. Pacific, when Loyola Marymount makes their season debut against Texas.